turning this into the non-stars <laughs> version. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it. The air, the temperature here is also uncomfortably, not quite unbearably hot, but uncomfortably hot. And immediately as you like inhale, as you take in your surroundings, you can feel your lungs kind of fill with the hot air and sting for a moment. You already feel like your body getting warm and sweat beginning to pool in some areas between your armor or clothing. And you can see in the middle of this what you assume is a subterranean chamber, there is a slow drifting channel of molten rock that just kind of lazily sits and moves through the center. Kind of an orange glow that emanates from it on that side of the room. On the edges of this chamber, you can see gathered sections of tables, chairs, bits of furniture strewn about. We are. We yes, are. From last, from last campaign. Yes, yes. we are. Wait, 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 was that Astani's place? Yes, it was. Plane Walker. Plane Walker. Plane Rider Rin. Oh, Plane Rider Rin. Rin. Was... Plane Walker Rin. <gasps> that's who the girl is. That's who the female elf is. Oh my god, that's totally fucking who it is. Ashley's totally lost right now. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch this show. So. <laughs> <laughs> It does it, does it, we wouldn't know. Never mind. You That's no metagaming uh, shit. Plane Rider Ren was a, t- is, was a tiefling. tiefling. Oh, tiefling. Oh, I thought it was a. But it could be a disguise, but it still feels like that place. We could let Matt talk. That was on the fire plane. Yeah, it was right? on the fire plane. It was on the fire plane. of fire, and there was furniture in a cavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like, wait, shut up, shut up. Like like I'm sorry. Not's kid died? Yes. 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 Oh, I was there. To. I was there. That's what they're referring to, yeah. That's I was what there. they're referring to. Well, we don't know. Yeah. But standing in the middle of this chamber, kind of taking it in, you can see the two other figures that were fleeing from you before are standing about 30 or 40 feet from you across the chamber. The uh, the half-elven woman is in the process of loading a heavy crossbow bolt into a large crossbow that she's no, picked no, off no, the no. wall. A female tiefling. <laughs> Looks to be an older 50s, um, like a deep, deep ruby red skin color with this kind of like white, almost sky blue piercing eyes with just a single black pupil dot in each. These uh, horns that curl back and up and almost like these two large pointed horns about that size to the back of the head and very, very short black hair that's cut just to the base of the skull with these like gray streaks that kind of comb down in two parts. She stands there in like uh, what looks to be a combination of robes and some leather armor, um, and is just holding a particularly crooked-looking wand in your direction. Indeed, you have come to my abode, uninvited, but seem to have some sort of business with some of my friends, so consider yourself at the moment not burned to a crisp. Apologies for the intrusion. Accepted so far. You live here? In in this lava place? It's one of my chosen places of research that I occasionally sleep in, so yes. Um, okay, well it's very nice. I mean, it's warm. Thank you. I'm Rin. Who are you, and why are you here? We're Bell's Hells. Right. Came to find P- Professor Kai, and we've been on a search of sorts as well, following a trail much like you and your friends have that has led us to um, some real spooky stuff about the moon. I kind of exchanged some glances. I do apologize if I don't seem extremely uh, eager and gracious at the sudden arrival of individuals that are unfamiliar, yet band about with bits of information that would easily get that Mandos killed. Uh, As a precaution, and please do understand, kind of holding the wand out, they kind of reach their hand out, and as they begin to tug their finger into the air, you watch as from the lava on the front of the chamber, a flaming entity comprised of 
lava and flame begins to emerge from the center of the room and kind of stands there and just looms, oh. crackling. So. What's their name? Oh. Do they have a name? This is Niles. Niles! Niles, Niles will destroy right. you if you make any fast movements. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We're outside the city now. Oh, yeah, we're in the elemental plane of fire. My apologies. I should have been specific here. A bit ways far from where I think you might have been before. Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> as, as Orem, and, and, and I'm sure Imogen, that's Imogen, by the way, and that's Orem, uh, will probably tell there you. There we go. Real names. Um, real names. Bell's Hell is fun. also a real name. Why? Right, but I can't refer to each and every one of you as Bell's Hells, Bell's Hells, Bell's Hells. That, that just feels a bit strange. It's a bit weird to me. I don't do well with organizational overarching titles. It's just a bit. Presumptuous. We thought that would be easier. Anyway, I'm sure that they will tell you. Um, we've had quite a few um, encounters with Rudus and those who um, affiliate with it. And this goes all the way back to um, to Balan and, and Zahar Loomis, the Loomis twins. And, and following the, the trail that they left behind. I see on your face, I struck a, I struck a chord, didn't I? <laughs> struggle a struggle on. A struggle on. A struggle on. <laughs> As this figure in kind of glances over with a somewhat furrowed brow to the others, you see Ebenold kind of like places a hand to his chest. Irene, Irene. Keep an eye around, but there was no need for this much alarm for now. Very well. I suppose welcome to my home. And, um, well, please do continue to talk, discuss amongst yourselves. I'm curious to hear. So most of us are scattered about just for our own individual safety. And we've kind of been jumping between Rin's abode here and trying to contact and work as we can between there and um, Ebenold's basement and uh, wherever about Serene is willing to take us. Goes, yes, you know, it's the wonderful thing about magic is eventually you become everyone's transportation device. <laughs> but no, really, I don't mind, I don't mind. This is really fun, it's quite enjoyable and a very strange, very intriguing series of mysteries which keeps me embroiled and less frustrated. What brought you to this all? Plain rider, if you don't mind me asking. Hmm. Well, uh, I, my research generally <laughs> focuses around uh, all things odd and astronomical, interplanar oddness, uh, inconsistencies in the way that different realities uh, align, overlap, tear into each other, pull apart, um, and even just beyond the outer boundaries of Exandria and beyond. That's it's, it's kind of where some of us met in our various uh, astronomical uh, aspirations and philosophical debates. Anyway, I've, um, I've discovered some strange inconsistencies in the way that the energies have been moving, the, the ley lines, the magical powers that guide the patterns of, of energies across Exandria and through the different uh, realms that overlap. Um, and this movement seemed to be uh, incorporating with uh, bursts of energy uh, uh, that over time the patterns seemed to coincide with these recurring flares of the moon and yeah. So when I began to ask around for specialists from Ruidus, um, eventually I was, uh, through my contacts and uh, uh, allied compatriots on the higher ends of, of education, sent me to find those who work on the Omen Archive, and that's I met Evanold here, and that's where I came to be here. Um, also, had found some some strange abnormalities between the most uh, the realms in proximity to Exandria, the Fey Realm being one, uh, and the uh, the Shadowfell, the other. What's that? Constructions. Things being built. There are, and I don't mean to alarm you, there are forces at work here uh, that are delving into the, the coming apex of these powers, these energies, to 
what specific means. We only have our thoughts and possible ideas. But, if that answers your question. Uh, yeah. You can give us 50 more. Uh, can I turn back to uh, Berlin? Baron? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to Berlin? You can go back to yeah, Berlin. Berlin. Um, you read the texts that you stole? Yes, um, we've all studied them extensively here. We think it might be a very important key to what is, to what these other individuals are working towards. Did they say anything about um, a city? Nothing about a city. On Ruidus? No. Oh. Guess we have some new information for you. So you think uh, your information is that there's powerful forces at work to try to focus and hone some sort of energies to the apex, the the apogee solstice. Mmm. They're a bit learned, aren't they? Love it, love it. Okay. I apologize for talking down to you. No, I'm no. just used to having to. Uh, but yes, the apogee solstice. Usually, oh, I've been so excited for some time for it to come, but it's getting complicated. Uh, yes, yes, uh, I, I, there are these, do, uh, how familiar are you with the uh, Cerberus Assembly? Oh, we've, just one, on, one or two of us have heard of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're the, we Part stole the... some stuff from them by accident, purposely by accident. Oh. From Odahan. Mm -hmm. okay. They kind of run wild mount. Yeah, and they're working with Odahan Thul. And Indeed also this, uh, this, I mean, he's kind of attractive, a uh, person named the Nightmare King. They all look a bit befuddled by that, not quite sure what that means. Ira? Ira? Rin, Rin kind of like gives a coy smile and goes, Windigoth. Windigoth. That's right. I think I know who you're talking about. By reputation, not personal interaction, but they're woven into this as well. That's interesting. Apparently, um, yes. Put their own games. Exactly. Huh. More of a hired hand helping with them. Um, she goes ahead and like gestures with her finger, and a nearby chair kind of like <laughs> scoots over, flips around, and oh, she no, sits in it with the, the, are alive. <laughs> with the back of the chair <laughs> kind of facing her. Right. <laughs> As Plain Rider Rin kind of rests her arms over the top, the giant horns kind of curled up from behind. She goes, Do go on. Oh, well, that fella was helping some other folks make a see device to, to see into the, into the sky to see Ruidus. So you've seen these devices as well. Oh, yeah. you've, seen, you've seen it, or one, or? I've seen two of them. Well, we, we, we actually have been to Hondir's hideout in Basarus. Hmm, technically that's a third one. Hmm. But she, and they point to the plane rider Rin, is, I, I'm a doer. I make things happen. Make things get weird. <laughs> so, with their knowledge, their trust, some friends, I think we want to make things weird for these people. For your mom, sorry. Soda Hung, whatever they're doing out there, trying to free. Pradathos, control Pradathos, destroy Pradathos, whatever it is. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I kind of want to stop it. How about you all? Yeah. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I think, I think, what, whatever it is, it does not bode well for a lot of people who we care about. And so, yeah, this, the seven of us definitely want to help. There's someone that's not here. I was trying to do the math on A friend of that ours one. got left in um, Eos. Are we going to be going back to Eos? Another friend of ours is close, also, but not super close. 
maybe. I don't really know what to say about him. <laughs> Rin, Rin just looks right over and goes, that one? Oh, okay, oh, you can yeah. see him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to find you. Hello, playing rider. Oh, were you searching for a while? Yes, I am playing Walker Chetney. <laughs> <laughs> I used to ride, but not at this age. <laughs> you have a plain walker? <laughs> it's just a plain old walker. <laughs> Hell of a spot you picked here with all the lava and stuff. <clears throat> you could see him the whole time? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to see what he would do. What was he doing? Then he just touching himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, a shallow uh, faded brick warehouse on the east, we well, no, we're west, right? Are we on the west? Yeah, east, side of east, the east, east, mm. in the Endeavor. Endeavor Ring by the blue. Faded brick by the blue lighthouse. We could put like a, a ribbon or something on the flagpole so they see it. Get Jenny up there. The, 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 she'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. I so you, you can convey <laughs> the information. Yes, I will do that. I'm going to use my last remaining sorcery points to get my third level back and convey all that. You got it. Uh, Rin responds. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, just a moment. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Shit. So great. Oh, what? <laughs> What? Oh, Come on, around that plane. I'm walking. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Hello? Oh. It's Rin, open the oh, door. Oh, I'm messing oh, with you. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. Yeah. You open the door and you see Rin immediately with long, like, curved crown of horns and rubs kind of ushers in real fast, kind of cloak muscled around. So, uh, who is who is this? Oh. Let's hmm. take his stuff, though, before you, you take him. I want those bracers. Hell yeah, I get those bracers. Fantastic. Why don't you give it to them? And she, she, she moves her finger in the air, and he kind of like, yeah, he goes, of course, I'd be happy to. He holds his hands out. <laughs> Anything else of value on you? You took it all. <laughs> Um, Rin. This is like odd, kind of just spacey looking. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Oh, you'll be fun to pull apart, won't you? Yes? His name's Taldus. That's it. I was just going to say. Oh, Taldus. Taldus. And he's very helpful. He's a sweetheart. Is he's he? just trying to, he was just trying to get ahead and, and okay. do what he thought was right. All right. And he works for someone named Mr. Deleth. Uh, I figured as much based on the Vanguard sentry point. So, uh,. Does anyone else know about this, your involvement? Anyone? He was with a couple of other fighters. Um, we escaped from them, but they were left at the house. Yeah, we smeared them. Well, well we didn't exactly way. smear them. They were unconscious, and one had just bamped back from It was also a windy one, like a windy situation. All right, then. Uh, I would recommend keeping kind of a low profile for the most part. Uh, Oh, and the house is trashed. Ebenol's house, super trashed. Right. Probably shouldn't Probably go back. Probably should have told you on the way out to be mindful of your exit. Ebenol's been filed, followed for quite some time. Yes. Yeah, it's the Vanguard folk. Uh, that's on me. I take responsibility for part of that. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, we plain writers can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, we'll take you back. What are you all off to then? Uh, Trying to figure that out now. We desperately need to decide which one of these keys we're going to try to destroy, or at least take out of commission. Yeah, they seem to be working on a timetable. Less than a week. Talking about the a week. Keys. Yeah. It's what, what he called the like um to to observatory. Oh, the machines. Yeah, the keys. machines. They're called keys. And she kind of like moves her finger towards it. Goes, uh, yeah, it's the Malleus keys. Malleus uh, keys. Damn. Like that, we nice really should have just. What, what a time saver. Malleus key. I mean, why is it Let's called that? that? Who is that a person? <laughs> uh, you asking him the question? Yeah. Was, I don't know. I've just heard them referred to that 
It's the Malleus Keys. Mm. Rin kind of narrows her eyes. Huh. Well, um, your next maneuver, I guess, is what? Just we don't overlap or can coordinate. Time is running thin, and I have a lot of things to do as well. well there is a location to the north of Eos here. Right. One in the Shadowfell, one in the Fey. Mm-hmm. Right. And I guess we're wondering, maybe you could ask our new friend, what's the softest target? What's the most important? Actually, that's a valid question. Um, was it Toldis? Yes, Toldis. <laughs> Toldis, friend, lover, absolute. A family member of this fine troop, if you would be as so kind as to say, which of these Malleus keys might be the most um, shaky? I don't know, the one that requires the most attention. Uh, I've, uh, as, as far as I know, the um, the one here is uh, near completion, but it's also the one that is the most attended. The first one built is the Fey one, um, but there's been some growing tension between the assembly and the court, and the vanguard's been working hard to maintain that before um, before the event. Hmm. And the shadow one? Oh, I don't travel there, it sounds scary. Hmm. Okay. Can they perform their trick with less than three? I don't know. I'm not the architect, the engineer. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little out of my depth when it comes to the details of this. I'm just following the lead of Ludinus and others. Uh, if you could put in a good word for me, I'd really appreciate it. I want to try and impress them one way up the ladder. Mm-hmm. I'll do my best, you sweet, sweet darling. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! More rim! Yeah, yeah. Rim is the best. Well, Ren, we were um, <laughs> already debating and considering going to the Feywild first, since we have a few contacts there. Mm. Um, unless you were thinking. Want to send us. Great. If you could maybe get us there. The challenge comes in my. Inability to. Re- I'm the plane rider. Of course, I can get you there. It's my focus. Yeah, it's what I do. So <laughs> I'm a bit uh, tapped. Not completely tapped for the evening. I can get us there today. Have to rest for the night, and then I have to jet as soon as I finish resting. Um, we do have a plus one. We need to pick up. Oh, yes. we can't oh, leave. Maybe we do that tomorrow. Can we wait tomorrow to do that? Oh gosh, we're running. Gotta find Ashton first, right? Should we message him? Of course. I'm out of messages. Oh. oh. I didn't take that spell I today. Bet they're back. At the oh, that's why you were being. I don't. I don't have that spell should, okay. today. <laughs> well, I would recommend find your friend rather quickly, and then uh, let's get this on the road. I I would be a, and normally I'm a very patient person, but uh, yeah, it's also tapping. Faster and faster. So we oh. need to get oh, moving. Oh, how long have we, would this have counted as a short rest while we've been in here? No. Uh, mm, no, because I was detecting right. No, this has been like casting spells and active. Yeah, you could take an hour to do that if you'd like. With an hour, I could get my sorcery points back and then I could message Ashton. Well, how about this? You take an hour break. You go ahead and figure out your friend. I will take that time to have myself an Eos and cheesesteak. It's been many years. And then I figure <laughs> while I'm in town, at least I can Indulge a moment if there's anything else that can be done. Anyone else like a cheesesteak? Yes. I'll take one. That sounds delightful, actually. All right, I will grab a cheesesteak, hold the cheese. Are you lactose uh, intolerant? Or? I just don't want to get bloated. Oh. <laughs> I'll take one, too. All right. Adventurous. I'm curious to see what happens there. All right, you know what? I'll just get around for everyone. If you don't want it, I'll finish what's left. It's been a bit, and uh, oh, it's so delightfully greasy. Um, Gives me the two. Yeah, I understand that. That's uh, protein. Yeah. Also a big risk there. Everything, really. You, uh, you just sit there for a bit and be a kind friend, don't you? Yes, of course. I'll just have a seat here and stare at the wall for a moment. <laughs> and he just sits there and looks at the wall. Oh, they're so cute when they're dumb. <laughs> anyway, 
lifts her arm just into the air, and the whole uh, side of the warehouse door just <laughs> see you in an hour, and like turns about and just darts off into the city. 